ChatGPT will ruin your wedding day, or will it? Should you be using it? Should you be scared of it? And how would you use it if you wanted to? We're gonna dive into that today. My name is Katie Sauter. I'm a wedding planner, so I offer a unique perspective on this whole thing. And I am going to give you my unadulterated, full opinion, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I am also going to play a little, is it cake with you today? Or is it AI art? It's gonna be fun, so stick around. But really quick, if you are planning your wedding, I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. I also encourage you to boop that like button and smooch that subscribe, but keep it PG for me as always, okay? Let's start with the cool stuff that AI is actually good for. There's a New York Post article recently where a couple saved five to $10,000 on a wedding planner. So there are good things about AI and let's dive into that. So AI can help you write your vows. They can help you form a budget. AI art can help you brainstorm themes and ideas. You can create AI art that actually like will customize your invitations to be like totally custom to your venue. It's great for helping you find eco-friendly ideas. Eventually, you'll be able to tour venues virtually if you need to, which is great if you're doing a destination wedding. Certain wedding websites can actually help you find vendors within your budget and style. There are even photography software programs that can help you find the best photos and edit them yourself. The feature might even include like robot photographers and videography and staff, you know, if the nothing is done to prevent human jobs from being taken away. AI is good because it's convenient, easy, and inexpensive. Now let's dive into what it's bad at. AI cannot physically show up at your wedding day. <laughs> that is the number one. It cannot navigate challenges or set up decor or handle emergencies as they occur. I have an entire episode where I went into just like things that wedding planners did that saved the day without the couple even knowing. Ch check it out. AI recommendations are algorithmic predictions, which means they aren't truly personalized to you. Well, they are and they're not. You need to make sure AI recommendations are actually reflective of what you want and your desires. There's also something called AI hallucinations, which leads to misinformation because sometimes it's just like, this sounds right and we're gonna make it sound right because that sounds right. And you're like, AI, no. No, I'm sorry, sorry, that's just not how it is. AI images also can set you up for unrealistic expectations. And sometimes it's physically impossible. I mean, look at some of this AI art. So one of these, there's like these chandeliers on the sides. I don't even know how those are hanging. And like the vines on the top, they're cool looking, but they also kind of look like they're coming out of the windows, which is a little creepy. And then there's this other one where it's like the starry night, but like you wouldn't be able to see the Milky Way. Like not with that much light, you wouldn't. I know, I'm a daughter of an astronomer, but these are cool ideas. You can be inspired by these things. Keep in mind that some of these AI tools actually cost money and data privacy is always a concern with AI. In contrast, a human being like your wedding planner, like me or a DJ or a photographer is going to have very real, very knowledgeable and very focused expertise on your wedding day. Ultimately, nothing can replace the thoughtful consideration, the artistic liberty, the care that a photographer puts into your photos. Human touch makes a difference. A wedding planner like me, I can see what you're concerned about and I can alleviate it before your big day. I can set up decor and spot problems before they even happen. I call vendors and manage them so that you don't have to lift a finger. And I can't do that, at least not at this point. I fluff your dress before you walk down the aisle. I am prepared with a sewing kit in case something happens. I am your secret weapon to a stress-free day. That is what a wedding planner or a really good wedding manager does. Simply put, I do things that AI just can't. Not using specific vendors has the potential to ruin your big day. And while I have not mentioned anything yet that sounds like it could ruin your day, let's go into a couple things that definitely will ruin your day. AI right now is being frequently used by scammers. They can create entire portfolios. I also have a video about scammers. It's not pretty. It's abhorrent behavior, but people can make it look legitimate now and it can be really hard to tell the difference. They can make advertising in less than a minute for businesses that don't exist. They're just shams. Artists and photographers right now are so angry because a lot of AI art is taken from their work and it's often stolen. I mean, check out this AI art right here. It's like, that looks like it could be real. I mean, it's not, I made it, but it's like, it's not real. That looks like it could be real. And then you look really close at the altar and you're like, what is happening? So now let's play a round of, is it cake or AI art? So let's put up first example right here this pink cake. All right. Yeah, I think that that is, I, 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 you know what? It's real though. It is actually real. How about this one? This one's also real. What about 
This one with the cute little mountains and the flowers. If you guessed AI art, you are right. How about this one? Is this one real? Yeah, that one, that one is actually real. That one's real. And how about finally this one? Is this one real? Nope, that one's AI art. If you guessed AI art, you're right. If you got all five of those correctly, like comment down below and tell me I will, you will get a gold star. <laughs> But it's kind of crazy, like, you could have an entire cake baker, just like, an entire portfolio that is fake. Just, duh. This could ruin your day. So, you know, AI is, is really cool, right? It's really cool, but is it going to replace people? I don't think that it will. I think one of the scary things about AI is that it really could take jobs away. Like, obviously, this couple saved a ton of money, which is wonderful for them. But down the road, this could be a really big issue for a lot of people. Will AI replace people? Sometimes it can. I mean, it replaced that entire wedding planner, right? Maybe not all of the roles of a wedding planner, but certainly a lot of the planning part of the planning. This could really hurt the economy and crush people's dreams. I mean, wedding vendors are in this industry for a reason. They are passionate about it. They love it. I love it. Experts in their craft bring creativity that AI simply cannot replace. It's kind of like going with AI is kind of like the difference between ordering a cappuccino at a mom and pop shop versus one of those little cappuccino machine things. You know, you press a button and you have to go through all the things and then you pick your cappuccino and it comes out and it's kind of like, it's a cappuccino, it works. It's like, you know, half good, but there's something soulless about it compared to going to an actual cafe and, and just enjoying the experience of the cafe. So I don't think AI is going to actually replace us. Ultimately, AI supports your bottom line, but it doesn't replace the emotional support and creativity of a real person. That's all great to know, but what do I think about using AI in your own wedding? Well, first of all, tools can't replace people. So you still need people to set up and get things done. It's a good supplement if it's used properly and with respect. I mean, that's a really good place for brainstorming and starting point, ultimately. It's just be careful if you see like a bargain flash deal and it looks too good to be true, red flags. You should have, red flags should be going off. That might not even be real. Also keep in mind that the things that AI depicts might not even be physically possible. They honestly might not even be within your budget. They probably aren't for most people. I mean, same goes for Pinterest, of course, but like, be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be, please be careful. I don't. I actually don't think so. I think it will become an aid. I think it will be useful. I don't think it will destroy the wedding industry and the way people are thinking it could. Tell me what you think below. Do you think AI will put me out of a job? I, I really hope not. But let me know, I guess. If you need a wedding planning timeline, check out the one in the link below. It was not made by AI. It was made by my squishy human brain. If you liked my video, check out this one.